um, within one year, um, they were restored additionally to daily work and the operations <coughs> and considerations shall be discussed now. The account book with the lowest number, Rechnungsbuch 78, is probably the oldest one which reached our workshop. It dates from the incunable time, 1492, and was the last time we scored in December 1958 by Herrn Brühl, who bound it in light gray linen. What he noted onto the inner surface of the front cover with point. This writing bleeded and we can assume that the object has suffered a certain amount of humidity. The impact of a sharp edge item has completely perforated the cardboard board of the book cover and all the following sheets. The shot generated no missing parts but lots of issues. The dirt on the border of the tears indicate the humidity of the demolition material. Especially under UV light, we can imagine the sharpness of the deepness. Sewing on three linen stripes became loosened, but it was still intact. Lots of colonies of microfungi are probably older, and they would have been the reason for the restoration from 1958 which was not effective against the mold because we can see that also the completions are concerned. Like the following Rechnungsbücher from Cologne, this object is not only interesting for uh, researchers of economic history, but also for those of language history, uh, because it is possible to find remains of the Ripoeric, a uh, certain idiom from the era in question. In the aspect of material history, it is worth to mention that Cologne played a pioneering task in um, the writing and printing stuff. The first printer in Cologne, Ulrich Zell, was in direct connection to Peter Schöpfer in Mainz and so in the periphery to Gutenberg himself. Beneath the six books, there was one exemplar, the Rechnungsbuch 84, with the original binding, a classical vellum binding with slotted spine, and openings in the spine, and underlayings of large leather stripes. At an outside estimate, you can almost find a few percent of original bindings. In the State Archive in Vienna, we have comparable uh, books with original bindings. Um, unfortunately, um, uh, the microorganisms attack could not have been stopped in time and uh, they are waiting for restoration in our quarantine world. At the massacre in, on the 10th March 2010, the face of the book was thrown away. More than one third of the pages shows a loss of substance. Also, the title cannot be read anymore, simply the word Urkunde and a few letters on the upper thick part of the front. The rest of the late Gothic inscription is absent because of the loss of parchment. It is not clear whether the microorganisms attack of this Rechnungsbuch from Cologne is an old one. In any case, the mold appears in particular in the first and the last pages. The cobertic binding is cut to the borders of the block, even a little bit smaller. Probably this can be um, um, uh, explained by shrinking in the course of uh, centuries. The skin is quite reddish. The spots can be attributed partially to mold and partially to natural melanin content. Corrations are concerned on those areas which were concerned by the accident. Uh, from the food was taken a sampling of about 0.5 square millimeters and brought to Dr. Patricia Engi, who um, diagnosed the uh, shrinking temperature 
according to her result, no humidity was allowed for this duration. Here I can uh, show you some of her photos. Um, the reflected light, transmitted light, sided light, uh, magnification about 150. Um, there are lots of uh, gelatine, uh, 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 big amounts uh, here when it was dry. Again, again. Um, fibers were also separated um, and looked how it works in water and at room uh, temperature. Herr Brühl bound the Rechnungsbuch 107 with half leather and calico in April 58. That means half a year before he had restored the aforementioned Rechnungsbuch 78 with light gray linen. It seems as if the binding with calico has been a kind of standard procedure for him and later he took the decision for linen. Mrs. Adrian Weisinger has supposed the new binding uh, has supposed a dummy made of textile with Japanese and paper, but the archive responsibles in Cologne preferred parchment. Mr. Brühl did not adhere the original fragment of the vellum onto the book cover, but onto the first sheet, and therefore it was protected during the collapse of the building. The proof of copper in the workshop showed a very little copper content of the ink, which is 25 times more corrosive than iron. This is an enjoyable result because of the possibility of aqueous treatment. He threw the book block on two layers, both enhanced with the line and seam. Thereby, he used the original holes. The pH of the paper was around five, whereby we don't know whether Mr. Brühl has already washed and or not neutralized the paper or not, possibly he solved more calcium iron out of the paper than he was able to bring into the cellulose. Again, we had to, to deal with mold. The analysis of the distribution of the molecular weight of this paper at the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences in Vienna turned out that only about 8% of the cellulosic chains exceed a DP of 2000. Almost 9% are so short that they don't even reach a length of DP 100. 10% have a DP less than 200. In the BOGU, they found more or less an uh, identical composition of the cellulose in the Rechnungsbuch 112. Usually it is not so easy for us to get access to such high technical, uh, technologic um, um, analysis, but uh, fortunately at this time the Austrian State Archive took part at a, for a, a research project of uh, copper corrosion and uh, two pieces of paper of the account books were fitting comparable objects and that, uh, uh, to, to those objects in our house too. Uh, in particular insightful was the gauze distribution of carbonyl groups, which are in opposite to the distribution of the uh, old objects in our house with a couple rich inks, which shows very characteristic uh, double Peaks. Um, we can um, um, conclude that the Rechnungsbuch from uh, Cologne is not affected by uh, copper corrosion. Therefore, it is unnecessary to uh, use antioxidants uh, like parabenes, which also works as methylating um, agents and is, uh, works antimicrobial. Uh, but not against um, Rhizopus polonifer, just the species we have to deal with in this case. Um, Rhizopus polonifer, also called bread mold, is not very human pathogenic. Uh, because of its high sporangial force, it often uh, contaminates the incubator. And this species can survive almost without oxygen 
and also um, it survived also the procedure of freeze drying in Cologne after the catastrophe. In a certain area of filling, uh, we also found two other species, um, Penicillium and um, Thelosporium. Uh, Mr. Brühl's restoration of the account book 112A happened in February 1959 in a manner of speaking during his post half leather calico period. The book cover in linen is corrugated but intact. We have no hint of an original volume limp binding. Obviously, the ink part had turned over the first page. Probably this Rechnungsbuch was not binded, but was a brochure, the amount of smut in another witness for this hypothesis. Surprisingly, no ink corrosion is observable. The use of print was necessary because of the slowly drying ink. The mimicry of the geologist in Vienna showed big interest when he looked through the microscope observing the print. In nature, you cannot find such a mixture of silicates, carbonides, um, some unknown blue stones, and immediately it was considered to get in contact with a sandalogist. Um, so much green uh, could not have stay, uh, stayed in the book block if it would have been washed. Mr. Brühl renounced doing such deep interventions also, the original parchment had been moldy, as we can see at the copy that he sued under the book in April 58 during his half leather calico period. Instead of that, he decided a new binding with parchment. Probably the possibility of contamination was the reason for his rejection of a part of the original parchment but in, it was in vain and the book block was not protected. About 50 years later, we are shocked because all of the mold spots in all the diverse colors. Uh, again, the margins, the margins of the uh, pages mold uh, was growing. Uh, position and uh, magnitude of the bands and also the tacking threads needs fortification. Mr. Brühl used in this case the original trapezoid pieces of uh, Maculator Hero Detail. Another delicacy of the Rechnungsbuch 157 is the watermark with the unicorn. It is said that it appeared eastwards of Paris in the years between 1455 and 1460. Oh, pardon. The Rechnungsband 134 dates from several hundred years later. This book has suffered uh, so much that the whole front is missing. Certainly, we could have read the letters from the hand of Mr. Brohl with the date before April 1958. The sewing on stripes of linen and the notch are quite characteristic for his work. The added fragment of the original parchment stayed untouched. The mold spots are older than the catastrophe, but not the uh, wrinkles of the paper. All books were deconstructed and new bound because of different reasons. They all were cleaned with different pencils and obstinate dirt was carefully erased. The sheets were laid between sieves and stayed for 20 minutes in a bath of 70% ethanol. Without interim drying, they were rinsed with water. The last bath was a solution of a mixture of calcium hydrogen carbonate and magnesium hydrogen carbonate. Uh, with the help of a pyrolytic capillary gas chromatography before and after washing done at the Technical University of Vienna, this washing procedure was monitored. Dr. Leopold Puchinger was so kind to do this uh, analysis and this is the first time uh, these results are published with the exception uh, for the protocols uh, in, in uh, Cologne. Um, 
substances before washing and after washing. Uh, here you can see some of the identified substances. Uh, uh, there are, uh, 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 as you have seen, lots of different substances in this old paper. Um, for the uh, completion of the missing areas on the light table, paper stripes were made with the help of the machine of Manfred Meyer. Uh, and the stripes were colored with fibers from Gabi Kleindorfer. Uh, here, here you can see the completion material. With the help of documentation before deconstruction, the way how to depose several leaves could be reconstructed. Um, the new parchments were cut and folded. Um, enforcement with leather was punched. In one case, it was also colored. Uh, threads were rotated before sewing, and each layer was protected with little parchment stripes. Cardboard mm -hmm. serves as enforcement and crosswise incisions for fixation. After the restoration, we all hope that the building in Cologne will not collapse again. <laughs> <laughs>